Yo, what is up, guys? Of course, the agency store is still live for the next month. Go check that out. You can see all the beautiful, beautiful colorways. In fact, my favorite change today again, it was Drop a Draco for the first week, right? Because, you know, Drop a Draco obviously has the hottest color well to me at least because i love blue i'm a sucker for blue and carolina blue is the best color in the world i tried to put this on every single hoodie but they only have it for this design but now i'm over the wave man i'm back to the original in fact one of my boys got the original you can see what it looks like right here so the quality is pretty good all that good stuff go check it out link in the description shirts long sleeves tank tops hoodies all that good stuff i'll be streaming later tonight too of course and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video man what is going on guys we're back here today with I gotta say, this is quite an interesting team. This might be the only team in the entire world that's able to turn Landorus T into an unviable Pokemon. So I know you saw the title here. Grassium Landorus T Special. CTC gave me this set. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what this set does. Somebody somebody gotta make sense of it for me. Grass Knot, HP Ice, Earth Power, Defog with the max special attack. So I thought, hmm, what could Grassium Z be for? And then I realized, huh, I guess it's for Rotom. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill Hippowdon. It doesn't kill nobody. But I am very determined to put in some work with this Grassy MZ Landers today. Because first of all, nobody can predict that shit. I mean, it's bad. It's definitely bad. Because Rotom and uh, Hippowdon, you can just beat with Swords Dance plus Z move. Rotom gets owned by Z Fly and Z Rock. However, however, maybe we will run into a Seismitoad that somehow is able to live Z Fly but die to Z Water. Ah, okay. So, Z Grass uh, should help us to kill a Keldeo here. No lie, it should. If we're able to catch it on the switch or something. If he doesn't want to go into one of his actual counters, aka Celesteela. Either way, he's a chump for running both Keld and Greninja. Come on, that's kind of cheap, but, you know, I'll get through it. I'll get through this uh, alive. I can't lead off versus Pex. It's a very good lead versus me. I'll lead off with Toad. He's going to lead off with Pex, right? Yeah, I figured. They all lead off with Pex. I got my rocks here. If he has Toxic, it's okay. Uh, I have a heal belt, clef, and stuff like that. As he goes for T spikes, okay. I can just scald here and fish for a burn. And I do burn him, and that's nice. I'm just gonna scald again. Um, let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, my Celesteela is kind of decent. Uh, I gotta be smart though. He gets another T spike. Oh, earthquake here. Or I'll scald again, actually. Does he have Toxic himself? He goes to Latias there. I do 7%. I can go for Toxic this time. Thought about Toxic on the Switch, but didn't want him to do any of that stuff. I'm going to Earthquake here. Now he knows that he can't switch into Seismitoad. He goes back into Latias. Okay. Uh, I just go into Celesteel. I just Toxic again. As he goes into Gliscor. Wow, I didn't expect him to go hard Gliscor. Pretty good play. Pretty wavy play. Is this Knock? It must be. It must be Knock Off or some shit like that. But I have no good switching. I had to, the only way I could beat the Gliscor and this guy was to burn it. I'm gonna go Landorus though. As he goes for an Earthquake himself. I'm gonna HP Ice here because you know your boy got that max special attack on deck. As he goes for his rocks. Now what's he gonna go into? Celis? Watch me Bloom Doom here on the switch into Keldeo. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm the GOAT. Like the video right now. Like the video right now. That's all. Like the video right now. That's all I gotta say. Click like on the vid. That's it. That's it. Streets is the Oh my god. I'm so fucking good. I don't even know what to say. How is he so good? How is he so good? That shit don't even make sense. How is he so good? Oh shit, he went for the pump. Big pump. Okay, okay. I gotta get out of here. That was a nice pump. I guess. I'm gonna go for the lander switch here. Because he's not staying there. Yeah. I'm a defog here. Because I need those rocks gone. Yes. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Problem is, Toad got toxic, but we can circumvent this. He leech sees there and misses, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna spike myself as he goes for leech again. Uh, I can go sell this here as he goes for a slam. I can blast here at least, which is quite nice. Even if he goes into Pex, he has to take an earthquake the next turn, so it's not the best scenario for him. Fire blast doesn't do anything, which sucks, but whatever. He'll blast again, I feel like. I mean, he'll leech again, I feel like. Oh, I would have leeched again. I can pause here just to get off some chip. Let's see how much it does. Flinch him, which is quite nice for us. Quite nice for us. We gotta take we gotta take what we can. He goes into Pex here, but you already know the rules are not too good, man. I know he doesn't have toxic, so I'm gonna flinch this too. And that's a whole GG. Hey, hey, he goes into his own grand. 
But hey, this one's dying too. As long as he doesn't flinch me, we're good. Hey, GG. So it's Greninja sweeps. That's big bless. 6 0 courtesy of ground of Gracium Z Landers T. I am absolutely dot this mega T. Yo! The max special attack, so I forced out the Gliscor, and then I fucking hit the kill on the switch because I knew he wouldn't go Celesteela. Yo, bro, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. He's gonna double leech. Oh, I thought he double leech. Alright, I'll set Clef here. I'll go Celesteela. As he goes to Pex, I got VV Stones wrapped around my neck. Hey, look at this. I'll go Greninja here. He's gonna recover again. Yeah, now let me pulse and finish him off. I'm so hype after that win. You guys have no idea. Well, not, well, I haven't won yet. Well, I will. But I'm so hype after that uh, That Gracium work and all that. That was so fire. Uh, Pex can't beat me, though. Pulse is doing a little too much. Uh, plus, with the flinch rate, it's not going to be enough. Yeah. Not bad. Ash, you, that, you, I got to send this to CTC. I can never talk down on Base Lord Squads again. That's... That's, I swear, bro. That this has to be the greatest intro I could have asked for. Agency shit. Go buy your agency merch today. Go buy your agency merch today. That's all I can say. Go cop that. Go cop that right now. Go cop that. Oh, his team looks crazy. Oh man, I don't know how I'm breaking this. <laughs> There's no breaker on this team, and Gra Gracian Lando ain't gonna be hitting this game. <laughs> I'll lead off with Landers T. Um, it leads off with this. I go toad. Yeah, this one looks impossible to break. But we'll see what happens. It's just because Chansey walls everybody, which is kind of bad, but there's not much I can do about that. Uh, it's toxic plus T spike. Wow, this thing actually walls everything. Okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Am um, I going to sell a stealer here? Maybe I can flinch this down. Is he calling mines? Let me go for another air slash. I'll flinch it down, I feel like. Because he's going to stay in and let me get a uh, metronome until he loses his thing. Let's flinch right this one. Okay, can we flinch one? And I miss instead? I said flinch, don't miss. Dude, come on. Why is this working? I should be flinching by now. Not one flinch, but I miss. Okay, crit? No flinch, no crit? Why is he doing this? He should have lost trying to set this up. He should have lost trying to set this up on me. This is ridiculous. You got to be stupid, kid. This is the world's luckiest, stupidest Reuniclus. You, you gotta be shitting me right now. Bro, suck my dick. There's no way you got that lucky, virgin. Nice trophy. Nice trophy. Shut the fuck up. Kids so happy that they see they get me on the ladder, bro. That's hilarious. But that's the highlight of these kids' life. Oh, should I play the YouTuber? Yes. That kid got banned for boosting on the ladder for six months. That's tough. That's tough. That kid got banned from the ladder for boosting. That's tough. But we're back here, we're back here today. Because I remember I saw that guy at number one on the ladder. I was so impressed. Find out that I do private all his games and boosts. That's tough. But it's okay. Sometimes you run into Chansey and the matchup's quite bad. And then they get excited. But it's okay. Kids excited playing Chansey and then getting banned for cheating. Wow. Excellent. But it's okay. I don't gotta worry about that. I only use honest Pokemon like Z Landers T with the Grass Knot. It's gonna be good here. It's going to be good here, I feel like. The set is going to hit this game. Man, that was an insane game. That guy really stayed in with Runeclis. But that's why we're on ladder and not in tournament where he doesn't belong. So let's see what happens this game. I'm gonna lead off a of Seismitoad as he leads off with the Tornadus. I'll just Toxic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, this is bad, actually. Oh, shit. He goes for Hurricane. Doesn't full confuse me, which is nice. Goes for another Hurricane. As I break out and burn him, which is nice. I scald again as he hits all his Hurricanes. Kind of annoying. Just miss one. Okay, he U turned out, but I stealth rocked anyway. As he goes to Weavile, for what reason? I just go into Clef, yeah, and I double into Greninja. Is this Scarf or SD? I think it's Scarf because he's quite weak to uh the shit. What's it called? Um, I'm gonna Hydro. Yes, sir. So that worked. He went for Rocks. I'm gonna go sell this here, expecting him to switch. He goes to Slow, bro. Let's air slash. Let's just see. That the move sucks. The move air slash sucks. It never flinches. It never does nothing. It never does nothing like that. Never a flinch. Thirty percent. I should make it zero percent because that's what it is. Look at this. Stay in here and kill this. Stay in and die to my metronome, please. Oh, he lucky he switched. He lucky he burned me too. So Celestia goes down. He didn't really put in any big work. 
embarrassing display, but nonetheless what I've come to expect from Celesteela lately. Watch this double into Landris on the Z slow, bro. So I can Z slow, bro. He had jump kick. You crazy? Whatever. You ain't able to stay in and kill me. Got earth power. Our earth power there, I do 50%. Uh, does unaware work on if they're minus one? No, it doesn't. LMAO! I didn't know how it worked. That's pretty bad. This is a, this is a whole rap. I can't believe he just HJK. What a fucker. I can't believe he just stayed into HJK. He goes in a bro there. Takes 35, which is not enough. I go into my own landers on slack off. Let's see. Hopefully he slacks off. He goes to torn instead. Maybe he'll think I'm scarf and switch. No, he doesn't. I just HP ice there. As it goes in the opening again. Let me sec this guy. I'm gonna go into my own opening and then double back into Landers T on the slow, bro. All right, now I gotta kill it with Bloom Doom. Please stay in. Please stay in. Yes. I don't think it's gonna change anything, uh, cause I still lose to everybody. Cause he's gonna ice. He's scarf, right? Yeah, he is scarf for sure. I know he's scarf for sure. And he's gonna go into Bulu and live it, which is the set. Oh, he's not scarf. Here's some. Oh, I should power up punched. Whatever. Okay, let's see how let's see how we're doing this. He goes in the bulu here. If I crit this, it's over. Crit, crit. No. And that's a wrap, ladies and gents. He, we couldn't do it. Squad couldn't do it this time. GG, GG. Fuck. Next game. Next game. That's tough. It's okay. The first game is all that matters. That's all I needed out of this video for real. I just need at least. At least the Landers is putting in the work. The real garbage on this team is the Celesteela and the Clef. They're unviable. Offensive Celesteela is one of the worst sets in Pokemon history. That shit is garbage. It's legit one of the worst Pokemon ever. And Clef with Unaware? God damn. We'll see when this thing does anything. Last three games, I don't think it's come out one time. I wonder what this thing is meant to wall with Unaware. Another game where he won't do anything, but it's okay. It's the thought that counts. Clefable. Looking at it, Landers TZ move grass can hit the... Uh, Gastrodon, but that's about it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What am I supposed to lead off with? Whole shit gets messed up by Zapdos. Yeah, this is the worst cleft set I've ever seen. I gotta fix it. Like, it doesn't make any sense on this team. We'll just make this your magic guard. Wish, protect, heal, but what the fuck? I wonder what unaware is supposed to do besides lose to everything. So it can can't do heal bell with the unaware, but you don't get chances to heal bell in this game anyway. So boy, what's the thing? Moon blast. What else do they need to run? Fuck it. Put thunder wave on this shit. And then uh, wish. And now this looks like a hit. Now that looks like a hit. That's what I want. If I had T wave wish, it'd be a wrap or even rocks. Either way, I'm gonna lead off a toad. As it leads off a clef, you already know what's happening here. You already know what's happening here. Hope he doesn't click Calm Mind or I'll lose again. He goes for rocks. I have no switching, which is which is too epic. No switching whatsoever. He goes for that again as I go into my offensive Celesteela. It's right offensive. I'll go for air slash air as he goes into Zapdos. I miss because this move misses way more than it flinches or crits, as we all know. As he discharges yet again. Uh, yup. Fortunately, there's no way to get initiative on the Clefable. So we'll go Landris here on the Clefable. And hopefully we can Earth Power here uh, to a decent amount of damage. Wow, it did 39. Wow. <laughs> How much does this do? 160? Well, that's not going to kill. Let's Earth Power again and go for a Spadef Drop. But it looks like no such luck. Okay. There is really no way to kill this fuck. Insanity. Wow. That's tough, man. The first game set us up for failure. I think that's all I can say here. It really did set us up for failure. That's all I can say. The first game was so fire, and then everybody else had... A well, this is... I told you, this is the worst team I've ever used in OU. This is the worst team CTC's ever built. This is far worse than that Talonflame bullshit. Like, this is the worst team ever. Um, but it, it can be managed. It can be met. Okay? It can be managed. Fuck no, I'm toxic. I'm toxicing here, bro. I need you to choke an SD. I need you to choke an SD. All right, but oh, he didn't really choke. Uh, let me let me do God pivots here. Oh, ain't no God pivots. I thought that man was going for super power. He went for wood hammer. Fuck my Celesteela up. Whatever, take my Celesteela. I don't want this shit anyway. It's so trash. 
This mon is so trash too. Offensive Stellar Stealer. Put this in a dump where it belongs. I don't think this thing has ever swept in my experience using it. He's gonna go to oh he's gonna go to bitch ass Zapdos and paralyze me. What is the ability on it? This is yeah, they're all static. They're all all kids use static zap. Watch this goat clef switch. Go goat plays, goat plays. Okay, okay. Let me wish here. What you about to do? Oh, he's gonna go drill. Oh no, he just goes for that. Should I make the Lando pivot? Go stupid. Oh hell yeah, I'm fine. Right, he has HP ice though, so I gotta get out of there. Uh I just go out here. As he goes in the cleft. And then he's like, haha, you have no fucking switching, stupid. And I'm like, yup, I got no switching. Haha, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Alright, so I can wish here at least. Uh, but luckily our counter is uh it's clefable. To his clefable. Because the Celesteel is completely walled. Damn, bro. This is not looking good. You know that feeling when you're just like, man, what do I do? And then you're like, haha, nothing can be done. Okay, let's crit this thing with earth power here. Come on. Come on. Crit with earth power. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Bloom Doom. He's giving me the opportunity. Oh, did he sack his cleft? It better kill. It's not going to kill. <laughs> Fuck off. Come on, he tried to give me the clef. He tried to choke. They always try to choke too because they're all trash. Another chancy? No, I can't do this. I can't do this live. I can't do this live. Every mon loses to chancy except for Lopany. I don't get it, bro. I don't get why it's Seismitoad and Lander's T. I don't get why it's both of them. Why couldn't it just be one? They're both shit with these sets. It needed to just be one of them, but it's okay. I'll always manage. I'll always manage. Hell, now I'm telling you, your chancy. This is the most cheap team I've ever seen. Rotom Lando, the no skill Volt Turn Core, Volcarona. So if you misplay, you quick Quiver Dance, and then uh, Mawa. You know, another broken piece of shit. Uh, okay. So I go for Willow. I go for Toxic as he goes for Willow Wisp. Nah, I'm just playing. I think his uh, Rocks is most likely what. Lando? Not Lando, sorry. His Lando Scarf. His rocks is what? Chansey or uh or Mew. Well, Mew could be he has two potential potential defoggers. As he goes for rocks. As I go for clef. I'm just gonna T okay. That's great. That's crazy. I'm gonna T-wave again. I'm just gonna spam it. Hmm. Well this is whack. He gives me his Mawa, which is pretty kind of him. I'll just wish here because ain't no fucking switching. Never mind. No wishes to be made. I guess I'll just sack this now because whatever. Cool. I'll go Landers here. Thunder punches and gets paired. I'm gonna HPS on the switch. Hoping he goes Landers as he does just do that. I'm gonna HPS again as he's gonna do what? I don't think he has explosion or anything like that. He U turns out yet again into Rotom Wash. I got the Z Grass for him though. Um, let's see what he's gonna do. Oh, he could switch in because of my size. He could switch out because of my toad. But I'm gonna bloom doom anyway, as it goes chancy. That's just not gonna help him though, because he still sacked his landers. And the Rotom is a threat, but it's not as threatening as like some other shit. Well, this sweeps me anyway, because I don't have a switch into this garbage. Like, like I said, this thing completely sweeps me. Um Who do I not need? I don't need Lopen his HP. Alright, cool, we stayed in. Um, I'm just gonna power up punch if he tries to thunder wave me. Yeah, that's why I didn't evolve. I didn't want to uh, get punished, you know? He goes to Mew there. The fear of taking a wisp is too high. It's too damn high. I gotta get out of there. Rocks will go up again. As he goes for wit. He goes for that. Cool. So does he ice beam, earth power? It's gotta be one of them shits. I'm going grin here. Ice beam, but. I can just pulse here, even if he goes chancy, it's not a huge issue. I still got a Lopany. Well, I should keep Lopany healthy, but... I could pivot Celis and then pivot out. Yeah, on T-Wave, watch this shit. This is gonna be hard as bricks, watch this shit. It's gonna be hardest, hardest, hardest play you've ever seen. Watch this shit. It's about to be sexy. It's about to be sexy. Oh, he went Volk instead. We'll take it. I'm gonna evolve here and just kill this. Um... If I get burned, I could lose, but if I don't get burned, I think I win. So, there's the math. He goes to Mew here and dies, which is nice. Who's the defogger? It's gotta be Rotom, right? 
He could go Marwa out here and try to... I feel like my Seismitoad can win. Yeah, he goes Marwa there. But here's where I finally sack the useless Clef. And he is useless. Um... I'm gonna go to Landers here and then double back into my Lopini. Because I think he's gonna switch. And I like the double. That shit gets me excited. Smashed. Whatever, I deserve that anyway. I paralyzed for a reason. And he full paired my other guy. What is this guy doing? What does Mawal do? This shit pissing me off. Crazy. I'm going back into Lopini here. You better not stay in. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better not stay in there. Alright, let me get my fake out off. I crit him, which is brazy, but fortunately, uh, we don't activate the barrier or anything. He's not Scarf. He's dead. Yeah, he runs. Hey, but cool. There was no barrier, I guess, but that's nice. So I'm able to get out of there alive. You know, we needed a we needed a win. We needed to win a win after a lot of uh, hardships. This video, this video, this was tough. This was pretty tough. What am I gonna name this? Is this, a, is this Agent Landris? I don't know, man. He's so bad. It looks like. The Grass Knot Landris T will be putting in quite a bit of work again this battle. Uh, but it looks like we might just lose to Tapu Lele turn 1 because of our uh, amazing Celesteela. I should just play with 5 Pokemon, really. Because Offensive Celesteela is the worst Pokemon I've ever used in my life. Another game where it will do absolutely 0% damage. Yeah, it might be time to just throw him off the team because he's not a Pokemon, man. He's a fucking joke. Cool. We got no switching. Hopefully he's not spec psychic so I can kill him with T-Wave right here. Come on. Come on. No specs T-Wave. Come on. Go for Calm Mind instead. Go for Calm Mind instead. Oh, it's not specs. Cool. So I T-Wave him there. Excellent. Very excellent. Let me go sell this deal here. Uh, no, let me just move blast. Just take my shit. Yeah. Alright, well he's gonna Psychic here, watch this, he's gonna Psychic here. <gasps> oh shit, oh shit! Alright, let me go for Hydro here, as he goes into Rotom. Wow, it did nothing. He's going for Wisp here, so we'll go Clefable here like a real nigga. Watch this shit, it's gonna be so fire. It's gonna be so fire. False? Are you stupid? I have a Seismitoad, what? Man, these kids are so dumb, man. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. He goes back into Tepu Lele, like that's some boss shit or something. Like, I ain't got Lopini right here. Like, I'm not about to make all the doubles in the world right now on you. Like, I'm not about to double 500 times right now. Next game. Okay, so. It's all good. It's all good. You live and learn. You live and learn. You live and learn. It's a tough team, man. It's a tough team. When all your Pokemon are walled by the exact same Pokemon, and they all lose the same exact Pokemon, it's a tough climb, but no matter, it's no matter to me. I always get the job done. I'm still the best. I'm, I'm still the best ladder player in Pokemon history. Damn, what's the peak of the ladder? 2200. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, I seem better, but damn. Not bad for a bunch of Star Virgins. All right, let's see. Hmm. Highest I ever got on the ladder was using some Garchomp Zapdos offense that Benge gave me way, way back. 27, I think. 27, 27, 2017, I think. Anyway, this guy's team is weird. Hopefully, the Landers can put in some work. It actually looks great in this matchup uh, for once, which is awesome. Seismitoad is automatically a king in this matchup as well. Walls fucking everything. Rocks up on everything. Oh, yeah. This is why I needed Unaware now that I think about it. Because, I mean, not Unaware. Unaware uh, Wish and Unaware Heal Bell. Heal Bell would have been really good here for. Uh, Sweet coon. Uh, I mean, I guess Seismito beats it, but as long as I need to not get toxic. Yeah, this shit ain't no Z move. You ain't got no Z grass. You ain't got no grass now. You got none of that. All right, it goes for T spike. That's fine. I just scald here on the switch to zap those. I burn it, which is so blessed for him. As he goes back into Greninja, gets burned. Uh, I'm gonna earthquake this time. I don't know why he doubled. I don't know why he switched in the first place and lost his zap those. Literally. Um, he goes into Alakazam, so everyone's gonna die now. This is hilarious. Everyone's dying. What are you doing? What are you doing? I want to stay in so bad. But, uh, I might just go to sell the Steeler here. Give me one good reason why I don't autonomize and sweep this guy right here. Like, what? Watch me Earthquake here on the switch to the Heatran, too. Oh, he went to sweep him. He lucky, but he not lucky enough. I got Air Slash. All right, we're going to see. Maybe this guy will finally give it a show his worth today. Maybe he'll finally show his worth today. I doubt it. He doesn't crit, he doesn't flinch, so what does he do? I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you what he does. Please, Celestila, you are horrible. If 
But I'm gonna need you to do one thing for me. You need to crit this Suicune. You need to flinch this Suicune. You need to do something, kid. No, he got burned instead. I hate it. I hate this piece of dog shit so much. It's so fucking bad. It's so fucking bad. I don't get it. I don't get why it's so horrible. I'm a good guy. I be treating my Pokemon right. So why does this one only get burned? It never flinches. It never crits. It never does none of that. Flinch. Ain't, ain't shit to say. Ain't shit to say. Watch this. Uh, Earth power here on protect. Because he's going to protect. And then I go for the... I go for the... I go for the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, baby. And you got nothing to do about it. You got nothing. You got nothing. Grass not kills. No, it doesn't. You got nothing to do about this. I got that Earth power and I got that Z grass on me. I got that Z grass. Oh, this set beats him anyway. His whole team loses to the special landers. Uh, T. I mean, simple Stone Edge Earthquake would have swept as well. He's probably looking at his screen right now like, L. <laughs> L for using uh, this set. Okay. But uh, either way, we're looking pretty good. We're in a pretty good spot. I can go Clef here because I know he's not Specs. He just goes for Ice Beam. Yeah. We're just going to soft build here as he goes into Tran. I can Thunder Web this. Is it rocks or is he gonna go for Z Steel or what? I don't know. I wanna free switch into my own landers. He could go for that Z Fire. That Z Fire uh Inferno. But he does not. I missed the Thunder Wave, which sucks a lot, actually. Because I knew he'd get greedy and go for rocks, even though it was a misplay. Um, but either way, he's probably some uh steel type thing. He's gotta be some Z Steel shit, right? Because he's Z move for sure. Oh, it's Bloom Doom. Oh, that sucks. I'm a soft boiled until he gets full paired because I want to pass the wish off here a lot. Uh, actually, I'm going to Moon Blast this turn. Actually, I'm going to Moon Blast this turn. Yeah, As I, okay, okay. I figured he'd switch. I figured he'd switch. Um, so that worked out pretty well. Gren is the Scarf, not Landris. Landris is SD. Who gets sacked? Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. So I think I can just go to... Shit, I don't want to sack anybody because, like I said, everybody wins, especially Seismitoad. He's a super sweeper. Yo, who is mowing their lawn outside? That sounds loud as hell in my ear. Okay, so Seismitoad is a super sweeper. Same with Grand. This guy is the most useless as it goes for Edge. Okay, so is, can nobody beat my Clef? I thought he was Z move for sure. I thought Grand was Scarf, but apparently that's not the answer. I'm going to soft bolt here as he just stone edges yet again, but I can just moon blast here. Uh, knock him out. Clef's HP is unimportant. I just don't want to give Zapdos a free roost, uh, which is why I'm attacking. As he goes into Clef here, he'll kill me with Psychic, but I don't need this. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, we don't have a uh, faster bond, but I do have Lopini at least, so I can just fake out, uh, sack, all that good stuff. Because he doesn't have a switch in here, obviously. He's switching to Zapdos. Like, yeah, he's switching to Zapdos, and I still have a, uh, I still have guys to deal with uh, him. Because even if he recovers, I still have Water Shuriken and Earthquake in the back. Earthquake as in from Seismitoad, which tanks, which is very nice. I'm going to return here expecting Recover or something like that. I don't need to keep Lopini healthy at all. He's unnecessary at this point, yeah. Because I have a guy that beats you, Alakazam. It's true. It's crazy, but it's true. It's crazy, but it's true. Even with the T-Spike up, your Alakazam, the threat, is not as threatening as my Seismitoad, the threat. Yes, I told you it was not as threatening. I comp I told you it wasn't as threatening. But he didn't believe me. He thought, I'm Alakazam. I'll be doing this, this, and that. But that's not it, as we both now know. That's not it. What you gonna do? He go he sacks the Heatran. He was that shook. He was like, please stop. Yup. And Sazimto goes on the late game sweep. Did you have any doubts? Did you have any doubts he'd go on the late game sweep? Click recover. Click recover. Because you're not gonna kill him with Psychic. Click recover. GG. Let's see. Yup. I, I told you he was going to sweep. I could tell. I could tell by his, uh, just just the team he had. And, you know, Seismitoad's beautiful, regular bulk. Another team weak to Seismitoad if I'm able to KO four out of his six guys. Haha. <laughs> this is like the stereotypical crazy HO. This is the, this is a threatening team. But no matter, we always find a way. I lead off with Landers T versus Tapu Lele. I don't want to do this. I'm going to Greninja. I hate this. He's he's uh some some he's not specs is he? 
I'm gonna spike either way. He ain't specs. I don't care. I don't care. It had to be done. It had to be done. I'm going for the win with my kid, Celestila. It's time. I'm so tired of him doing nothing. But this might just be the game he's able to do something. We're gonna see. He goes into Magirna here. Let's go for a nice earthquake. If only we were Tech Z. 42%. Not bad. Oh, he goes for T-Bolt instead. Whatever, I flinch here anyway. Flinch, 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 flinch. Okay. My kid never flinches. I don't know what to say, guys. You know, looking back at this video, my full record was what? Like 3-6? and six? I don't have anything to say. This team should have been three Pokemon. Landris, Greninja, and Seismitoad. I want to give a special award to Celesteela for being the most shit Pokemon I've ever used in my entire life. This thing is crap, especially offensive. Anybody using this, you need to get a grip. This is horrible. Clefable. This, it was good when I made it Magic Guard, but unaware, unviable. Lopini is always pretty good. Lopini is always good just because of the threat that Lopini is, so you're able to play mind games. This Landris, horrible set. Absolutely, it's 2 out of 10. But 9 out of 10 when in my hands. So, we'll average that out. What's 2 out of 10 and 9 out of 10 averaged? Oh, I guess it's 8.5 out of 10. So, Landris T, he gets a stamp. That's a real agent. I hope you guys enjoyed this live. Pretty... I feel like I got very mad in this live. Even though, like, it might not have seemed it, I was mad. I was mad with this team. I'm very outraged with this team. But, hey, shout out to the agency. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.